West Side Gun, the one who named the song Johnny P's Caddy. You know, that's what he do. He's the curator. He got all these great big ideas and shit. And he remember my pops always had them caddies. Everybody in the neighborhood do. Always had them big shiny Cadillacs. And it was a feeling in the, you know, the late 80s, early 90s, mid 90s with him pulling up in that Cadillac. Sometimes my pops used to have the, the uh, chrome naked lady on one of them joints. Like it was, it was crazy, you know what I'm saying? So just by him naming that, it put me in a frame of mind. The original spark for this song, basically, I'm in the studio with Al, you know what I'm saying? I know, I know what's at stake, I know what I'm creating. Basically what made us want to uh, get cold on the record is, it was, I wanted to get cold on the record. We exchanged numbers and I would just text him about the song and she was like, yo, I got you, whatever, whatever. He had heard the record already. And I feel like his fans, they want to see him speaking aggressive, talking, I'm the best rapper, because they want him to like, yo, talk your, talk your shit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he did a lot of that on here, so I'm thinking that's why people fuck with it like that. Tend to talk four, this shit mean a lot to me. You know this shit don't feel as good as it look. I'm straight though. The street shit made me who I am today. Niggas know I went so hard for this shit. I deserve this shit. The butcher coming, nigga. Behind the curtain of the business, regular people don't know what go on. They think, you know, you got this jewelry, you got this money, you live this life that everything is perfect. And everything is not perfect. I, I got different problems. I went through so much, like, you know, what's this? You know what I mean? So I can handle it, you know what I mean? It's just a different way of handling it. This ain't my story about rags to riches, more about how I master physics. In the game, I used to train like Rocky, catching chickens. Energy, you know what I'm saying? That's what this is about. You gotta be able to, to move energy around, know who's who and know what's what. You gotta be able to identify certain things. I think I, I'm, the, I'm the best I'm the best at that, you know what I'm saying? And that helped me get to where I'm at. I was nice, but they was right when they told me that rapper business. I had 10 bands in my stash when I passed over half a million. Come easy, no good. Don't be surprised I'll last these niggas. It's like they put out a smash, then they go in a flash, admit it. The first thing I think people need to understand about rap being a business is that, you know, we're artists and sometimes we see another artist ahead of us and we just expect that artist to do us a favor and pull us up but it don't work like that. This is a business. Don't ignore the business part of this game. Then they make tracks and this is like, that's gonna add up the digits. They showing fake racks and pictures like that's gonna attract the bitches. That was really me, nigga. I ain't have to act and conflict it. Only difference is I'm living and I would've whacked one of them niggas. In that particular movie, I was really being a version of myself. So it was kind of easy for me, you know what I'm saying? So I love that. I got to do that and I plan on doing more of it because acting is such a therapeutic release. Who knew that after drug dealing, I still be casual spending, mil plus annual income. So here's my manual, then some. When I do my manual, when I write it out, it's gonna be called Pieces of a Brick. The first thing I would tell a person to do is like, have a, have a reality check with yourself. Go in the mirror because it's gonna be a long road and you might lose some friends and but you gotta be ready to sacrifice things. That's the first rule I will put in there is like prepare yourself cause it's real. And this east side shit still in me, my ability to turn words to imagery, probably the reason they gonna remember me, figure we walk this tight rope with a feline's agility. I think my authenticity helped me, uh, you know, get me where I'm at. I feel like that's one of my strong points too. I'm turning words to imagery. I'm just gonna be very detailed in my approach and, and, and paint these pictures. It's probably the reason they're gonna remember me, you know what I'm saying? The streets did so much shit to me, I could never live civilly. I could never leave the scene without checking my mirrors visually. You know, I've been through some shit, obviously. So you gotta be aware of your surroundings, what's going on around you. You gotta be careful, you know what I mean? It's like, it's a lot going on around us and the fall is steep. Come with that energy, cause some shit gonna always stick with me. They wanna know what I brought to Griselda? I say, validity. They asking what work that niggas put in? I'm like, what well, didn't we? These guys came in before me and they gave me a platform to shine and to do my thing on. When these boys was bringing me around, I was reading the comments about them, people was talking about them like they were already legends. So I had to like big shoes to, to fill, you know what I mean? A, a big mountain to climb. And I feel I like done that. You see Conway, you see West, now you see me. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's three of us now, so it's nothing you can say that we valid. Problems that I correct through the obstacles, I progress are logical for them to feel they're responsible for our success. Shout out my boy Black Blood, man. He taught me. He's like my boy from the hood, OG. He taught me like syllables. 
syllable, syllable, syllables when I was 16. You know what I'm saying? And that you, when you're doing your syllables, that shows the men from the boys. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. That's why all the top rappers is going to be rhyming three, four, five syllables. I'm thinking like, how could I say something real and still make it? I mean, rhyme, entertaining, because all that other shit is bored to me. I'm not trying to think of the first thing that come to my head. I'm trying to make this a complex rhyme. Besides Kanye kind of West, tell me who else I gotta respect, cause I'm kind of perplexed. It's about time that I got my respect. It's the butcher. And notice this, at the end when I say it's the butcher, notice this, I don't say the butcher coming. Cause I feel like Tana talk like I'm, I'm here. I did take acting classes, a few of them. I did uh, sit and study with my uh, co-stars in it, and I learned a lot from them. I learned a lot from the people on the set. Just when to turn it on and when to turn it off and not to look at the camera, and you know what I'm saying, and just, just to be yourself.